My dear, I am shooting this video because of your multiple requests for it. After all, this video is about establishing a connection with our ancestors. Many of you have said, I see dreams about my ancestors. I feel that they want to help me or, on the contrary, ask for my help. What should I do? Now, I want to tell you that in shamanism, ancestors are an important part of our lives. For if we turn to the power of our ancestors, we gain a great blessing. The most important thing, perhaps something that you didn't know, is that our ancestors, when they pass into the subtle world, when they leave their earthly life, gradually become angels for those who live on earth. They also spiritually develop there, aspiring to God, and thanks to your work with the lineage, Thanks to your prayers, they receive spiritual energy. They develop spiritually there and become real angels. Therefore, my dear, it is very important to remember your ancestors. There are certain astrological dates when this is the most auspicious time for this. The days of the spring equinox are the key points during which we turn to our ancestors. At the seminars, we hold on to those days. We call upon the power of our ancestors, beg for their blessings, and organize oracular practices in order for your ancestors to come give you a message. After all, they have so much to tell us. One day, my student's grandmother came to me and started asking, even urging, please call my granddaughter. I left an inheritance, but I didn't tell anyone about it because I was worried that my money might be stolen. Call her and tell her what shelf I left my inheritance on. I always trust spirits because I know they always come to me for help. I called my student and she immediately, without hanging up, came up to the bookshelf and found a book. This book had pages cut out and was made into a box. In that box was an inheritance that her grandmother had left. Of course, we can receive not only material inheritance, but spiritual inheritance, talents and skills of our lineage. It can be the ability of clairvoyance, fortune-telling, knowledge of herbs, incantations, because your lineage is very talented. God rewarded each lineage with great power. And when we communicate with our ancestors, we receive great spiritual power. Do you know, dear, who will meet you when you cross over in the subtle world? Don't be afraid, please. We will all go there sooner or later. So who will meet us? Actually, you and I will be met by our relatives, our loved ones with whom we are connected by threads of love and heart. A student of mine once said, If I've had trouble communicating with my relatives and not a good relationship in this life, I probably wouldn't be very happy to see them there in the subtle plane. I want to allay your fears. It's here on earth that we communicate as individuals, but there in the subtle plane we communicate at the level of our souls. And naturally, when you see your ancestors, you will see the best and strongest qualities of their souls. So every time you turn to your ancestors, you build up a very close spiritual connection. Now take a look at the picture of the shamanic family tree. Our ancestors are the roots of our family tree. And every time we pray for them, every time we communicate with them, we are nourishing the roots of our family tree. And therefore, the trunk of our family tree and the crown that is, the present and future of our family tree, become very strong. My dear, 
I recommend you direct all your thoughts of gratitude to your ancestors, especially on Saturdays, the days of Saturn. Of course, you can do this any day you feel like it, but one of the auspicious times is Saturday. You can prepare an altar for them, invite them for treats, or prepare food for them. Just remember, this food should not be eaten by any living person. You offer the food, leave it for two to three hours, and then you take it either to the forest or treat the animals. I will now teach you what words to say to address your ancestors. Light a candle, turn on the music of transformation, preferably chosen according to your numerological code, the code of your soul's talents. Sit down and make sure that nobody disturbs you for at least five to 10 minutes. Put the phone on silent mode, take a deep breath. Close your eyes if you want or leave them open. Tune in to your heart. When we pray for our ancestors, they can become our guardian angels. If you know your dead ancestors by their names, then say their names. If not, just tune in energetically to your ancestors on your father's line and on your mother's line, feeling them as energy and say, I wish all the kingdom of heaven the resting place. God, give your love, grace, and blessing to the dead. May everything be well with them. May all their bright wishes come true. Lord, bring them close to you. Give them a spiritual path. And then ask your ancestors. Deceased, please help us pray to God for us, the sinful people. Ask God to give us health, prosperity, a spiritual path to protect us from dark spirits and give us freedom. So be it. Um, when you finish your prayer, Feel calmness and security penetrate your heart. It is your loved ones on the subtle plane who will have received spiritual energy and now you are being given this state. Most importantly, remember that it is impossible to change the present and the future unless we change the past. When you make prayers for your ancestors, you are changing the past of your lineage. It is my wish that you have many guardian angels, not one, not two, but hundreds of your ancestors who have achieved such spiritual growth in the subtle plane that they can now patronize your entire lineage. Blessings be with you. You have gained new knowledge, and now it's time for you to become a ray of light to new people. Share this video with them. Invite them to become part of the field of love. Come with them to our classes and seminars. Help others, and God will help you.